Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jockstate here. Back with another unboxing, and today, got a, just a quick one for you guys today, because I'm actually probably sure that you've seen these already, but I was just so excited that I actually got a pair here on the table that I wanted to do an unboxing anyway. So, without further ado, uh, let's jump right into it. So as you can see, this is a very special Jordan box. It has the blue elephant print on this side, has the Jumpman on that side and this is the very special edition version of the Air Jordan 3 that you could only get over in Japan and I was able to get a pair over here on this table. Now this is not my pair unfortunately, although I do want a pair of these. I actually have the regular pair that's sitting right over there, but now that I've seen these, I don't know if I want my regular pair anymore. I actually want a pair of these, but We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so let's hop into the box. Obviously you saw again, the white and the elephant print, and then you get the special elephant print paper, elephant print, elephant print paper, which I think looks really, really nice. Always love the special edition tissue paper when it comes to the boxes, and there you go. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, so quick fun fact about the Air Jordan 3. Now, a lot of you guys know that Tinker Hatfield designed the Air Jordan 3. It was the first shoe that he designed for Jordan brand. It was the first shoe to use the Jumpman logo, the first shoe to use elephant print. But more than that, the shoe, crazy enough, was the shoe that kept Michael Jordan with Nike. After the Air Jordan 2, hold on which I kind of feel like gets a bad rap. So this is the Air Jordan 2, and I kind of feel like it gets a bad rap, but it's not a terrible shoe, but it does get a bit of a bad rap. But after this one, supposedly Jordan wasn't happy and was thinking about leaving. Tinker designed this one, showed it, into, showed it to him in a meeting. Now he actually showed him, was going to show him a version with a Nike swoosh, but decided to show him a version without the Nike swoosh, and that's the version that Mike liked, which got us to here with the elephant print, the back tab, and all that. Now, this pair is actually pretty special because it's called the Air Jordan 3 denim, and that's after Japanese denim. For those of you that are familiar with fashion and look into high fashion and those sort of things, you know that Japanese denim is highly coveted. It's very specially made from the materials, from the machines that it's made on, from the way that it looks to the way that it fits. All of those things are taken into consideration when it comes to Japanese denim. It's made with machines that are like 50, 60 years old, as opposed to the modern day machines, which makes the jeans that most of us generally wear. Japanese denim is made a very, very specific way, very like old school sort of way, where it's like, it doesn't fit you right away. It's like washed and then it kind of fits you. It's like, it's very old school way of thinking. Um, and so there's like a care and a craftsmanship that goes into the making of Japanese denim. And I feel like that's what happened with the Air Jordan 3. There was a care and there was a craftsmanship that went into the making of the shoes. And that's why I think they resonate so much with people. Now me in particular, the black pair is the pair that I really like, but this denim pair is actually really dope as well. So as far as this pair being denim, the denim is actually shown here on the heel. You see it here in elephant on the lace stays, and then you get it right here around the toe as well. It's obviously been stamped with the elephant print, so you still have the elephant print there, but you also get a little bit of denim there as an ode to the Japanese denim. Now, this pair was actually supposed to release as part of the Olympics, but obviously due to COVID, the Olympics didn't happen, but Jordan Brand went ahead and decided to release this pair anyway. Now, the things that makes this pair special and different from the original pair is really Really not a lot. There's just a couple of things that make it different. But before I get there, uh, I want to give you guys a little bit of trivia, almost like a did you know fun fact. So if someone asks you about the Air Jordan 3, something that you can always tell them is that this outsole here, taken from the Air Revolution, which was a shoe that Tinker Hatfield designed as well. So he brought that to the Air Jordan 3 and that's where this bottom comes from. And you see it here on the Air Jordan 3 and it's on the Air Jordan 4 and a version of it is on the Air Jordan 5 as well. At least it, it looks like a version of it to me. Now, the details on this pair that make it special, that separate it from the normal Air Jordan 3 denim that we got here in the US, one are the insoles. Now, this isn't my pair, so I'm not gonna take these insoles out, but it says 
co.jp, which is from Japan. And that's where these were sold. They were super limited and you could only get them over there in Japan. And so you have that there on the inside. And then on the heel, you get the regular Nike swoosh, you get the air, you get the Jordan Jumpman, but then you have Japanese katanas there as well. And there's three Japanese katanas and I believe they say Nike. I don't know that for sure. If there's someone that reads Japanese in the audience that's in the comments, will you please let us know? And actually, could you define each character? There's three characters. Could you define it in the comments so the rest of us exact know exactly what it is that's happening down there? Now, uh, other than that, it's just a regular Air Jordan 3. You have a tumbled leather. It's not super tumbled like the Air Jordan 1, the pine green Air Jordan 1s that had that, that super thick tumbled leather. This is a nice softer leather, which is something that Tinker wanted to do when he designed this shoe. He wanted to give it a softer feel because it was something that Jordan wanted, so he gave it a softer leather uh, that made the shoe feel like it was broken in as soon as you put your foot into the shoe. And that was his aim to give Michael something that felt better. And that's why you have a softer leather here. Obviously you see it's mid cut, which is the same thing as the regular Jordan 3. Some nice padding here on the side. It's an all black liner. You have the black tongue, which is padded as well. And then like, I never really pay attention to this because I doubt I would ever play basketball in these, but the heel counter in these is actually pretty nice. That should keep you locked in pretty good. I never really pay attention to that because again, this is not something that I think about when it comes to basketball. But then, and then you also have that classic Air Jordan 3 outsole, which I love, looks really, looks really, really great. Just such a really good shoe. Anyway, uh, I just want to give you guys just a quick look at these. Uh, just something that I think I really want to get my hands on. Again, it's all about that heel tab right there with the Japanese katanas on there. And then you have the Nike swoosh in the air and the Jumpman like all combined together. I think that's really, really dope. And I definitely want to get my hands on a pair when I can. Uh, big shout out to the Jumpman. This is your first time. They're coming out party, so to speak. And they're hitting there on the Air Jordan 3, which I love. Anyway, Anyway, uh, I know I sound super excited about these, just because really I am super excited. Anyway, uh, as always, guys, appreciate you. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you really, really like what you see, why don't you stick around and watch more content? Really, at the end of the day, I just want to make sure you enjoy it. I'm Jacques Slade, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. I really wish I could keep these. Ugh. Shout out to the homie Juan. These belong to the homie Juan. He let me use them for this video. And uh, I definitely wanted to hold on to these, but uh, I may have to just end up paying resale. Uh, that just looks so cool to me. Um, not, and it's not even a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. It's literally just the Japanese writing, and I think it says Nike, and that's not even like something to really care about. But as a guy that wears a bunch of different sneakers, seeing that, it's just, I don't know, it's just cool to me. Like the double Nike swoosh, all that just looks super chill. And then the clear, I, I, I don't know if it's the, it, it's a mix of things. So it's the Japanese writing and then the clear heel tab as well, I think looks cool to me as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm just rambling now. All right, y'all, y'all can cut the video off. I'll see y'all later.